Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly change multiple queries that have the same source in Power Query. So let's say, for example, we have these queries. The, these are all pulling from the same source. If I double click this and open this query, you'll notice if I go to the source in this panel here, you see that it goes to the same source as the other ones. Let me open up these uh, other queries. They're going to be the same thing. So this is a design issue where you know we might have opened up different queries and did the transformation in them, and we saved them as different queries, but they're going to the same source. What if we change the location of this source? Not just, just do a simple change. Instead of having it under the carry folder, I'll change it to another folder named Alex. Now I'll say I changed my folder here, and I moved it over here. Now you're going to notice that my query is going to be broken, right? Because if I refresh all, all the queries are going to be broken because they're pointing to the same one. Then in order to have them all work again, I have to go into each individual one to change it, right? So I have to change it to Alex here. Do the same here, double click that, Alex, and do the same for the last one here, right? So that's a lot of changing to do when you really think about it. There's gotta be a simpler way to do all of this, and there is. You can do this by adding a parameter. At the end of the video, I'll show you how we can do it another way by making it a little bit more simpler. But if we already designed our queries, we have multiple queries doing this and we change the location, this is one way to mitigate that instead of having to change it one by one. You can ch change it all at once with a parameter. So let's get into how we do that. To enable this, what we do is go under View and click Always Allow. We're going to always allow parameters. You can see if I hover over it, it will always allow the parameterization of a data source. And I can go back to Home and go to Data Source Settings. You can see that we have three queries, but they're all pointing to the same source. So I'll go ahead and Change Source. And under the Change Source window, we're going to create a parameter. So under here, we're going to say New Parameter. And actually, one thing to do is probably I can copy this because I only have the change uh, from Alex to, Alex to carry there. So I just need to copy and paste and change that. Select new parameter. And here, I'll just call this source and current value, control V. And I'll change that later. Click OK, click OK, click close. And now nothing's happened. But let's go back and change the location folder of our source query, our source data. So here, my source data is Alex. I'm going to move it over to carries folder here. And let's see what happens here when I do a refresh. It all gets broken. But all I need to do now is select my parameter here, delete that, type carry. You can see it's all been updated. All right? All the queries have picked up the new source under the carry folder instead of the Alex folder. All right? So that's how we can do it. So if we were to start from scratch, of course, a more preferable way is to create a source query and reference that source query so we don't have to do all these uh, changes here. So let's see how that's done. So here I am in a new file, and I have that same source data. right? So I only have one query now, that data query. And I'll do all my transformations here. You can see that it's picking it up from carry. That's fine. But what I can do now, instead of creating separate ones, separate queries from that source data, right click, and what I want to do is reference. So that would be my main source. This would be my reference. It's going to be pulling from that source. You can see that my source here is pulling from that data query. So if I change the source there, all it's going to do is pick it up from there. So I can do my transformations here. Let's call this one male, and this will be the gender male here. And click that. That's my filters for the mail. All right, click close and load. And I'll just duplicate this and do it for the female one. And I'll show you how it works when we do when we change our sources, right? So we'll make this one the female one. And filter that for female, right? So this this will be different queries, but they're still pulling from the same source. Click close and load. And now I've got my different sources, right? And I've got my different queries. Let me open up the query editor again and just pull out the, the pane here over here, the, my queries pane over here on the left. You can see that, right? So if I go back and change my source now again, right? I had the source here. It was pulling it from the carry folder. Let's pull it from the Alex folder. You can see that's going to get messed up when I do that. So here I'm going to pull this folder, pull this file over, the, my source file, put it in the Alex folder. You can see if I click refresh all, it all gets broken. But 
Now, all I need to do is just change one place instead of multiple places or even creating a parameter query and it will pick it up. All the other files, the queries will pick it up. So that's probably the more preferable way if you were able to do it from scratch. And that's having one query pulling it from that source. If they're all going to be pulling from the same source and your subsequent queries just as a reference of that main source. But if you've already designed your queries in a way where set they're separately pulling from the same source, then you can use the parameter type of method I showed earlier. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.